hey guys today uh, i'm gonna show you how to uh, give your picture uh, a watercolor effect painting effect yes yeah? so first of all i'm going to uh, show you guys the picture original picture and there is it that's the original picture we have and after editing it became like this so that's the difference yeah so first of all you need adobe photoshop First of all, open Adobe. So, guys, if you, if anyone uh, want to uh, get paid software totally free, especially Adobe Photoshop CS6, so you can you install trial version or um, uh, of and uh, after installing that, there is a trick from you can make your trial version paid. So for getting that trick for me you need to subscribe me and comment below the uh, video that you need and the adobe photoshop cs6 paid software or tell tell me how to how i can get uh, this uh, adobe photoshop 6 version uh, paid free yeah so um, i will send you the link and i tell you where you can find the link and you can easily download and uh, download that so we're coming on our point so first of all drag your picture there so there so after that i am double After that, I'm double clicking on it and I'm giving it a name B A S E Base and uh, click OK. And uh, we double click on uh, the this layer because we want to unlock it. So I'm uh, making a copy of it again, base copy, and I'm going to name it Smart Blur because I'm going to making it smart blur bone filter blur and there's smart blur and after that uh, set up your radius to 10 and threshold to 30 30 and oh oops sorry for that filter oops filter blur smart blur 10 30 quality high mood normal and then okay yeah. you guys see the difference here yeah? it's kind of blurry yeah so then click on base to make it make it active and I'm going to duplicate the base layer again and drag that base copy to front so we got smart blur layer uh, in the middle of base copy and base yeah. so and uh, and after that we're going to rename the um, which uh, thinking. Mm. Uh, we rename it oops oops sorry for that 
pencil lines lines there so after that we are going to filter filter gallery and stylize glowing edges edge width 1 edge brightness 12 smoothness 15 there press ok oops sorry for that uh, um, sorry 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 again going to filter filter gallery and there is 5 no 15 yeah add we're going to stylize glowing edges edge edge width 1 edge brightness 12 smoothness 5 yeah this is okay you can uh, set these radius and uh, with things according to your uh, pictures uh, pixels yeah and we're gonna invert that uh, in, we're gonna invert that peak we're going to image adjustment and invert there and blending mode to multiply there so change opacity to 80 percent 80 percent there it's okay and then we're gonna active smart blur click on that active now and make a copy of it and they make a copy of it rename the layer as brush yeah there and invert the selection again image oops brush click on brush image adjustments and invert there and change blending mode to color dodge color dodge that one and now i'm going to select brush and right click on the screen and the setting and we're going to reset brushes reset brushes reset brushes 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 yes okay now go on again setting smallest and after smallest we're going to dry brush click on this I am going to size it about um, 140 opacity about 10 percent 10 there yeah. and by we're gonna yeah. now I am going to um, brush on image yeah like this this thing Easy easy steps here. Yeah. You can make your picture watercolor. It look like painting, bro. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going again to brush by right clicking. Setting water media brushes. Okay. And there is watercolor texture surface. Go on that opacity to fifty percent. I'm going to make the size of brush larger and Yeah, you must uh, choose foreground white and background black. If you choose background black, it will not happen. Look, it's not clicking. So I'm changing it to the uh, there. So
Oops, sorry for that. There. There. Back on and after that, I'm gonna right click on the merge visible. That's so one picture now. I'm going to adjustments layer and vibrance 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 to full there and go to filter gallery there and texture where's texture texture texturize and scaling about 50% relief about 3 lighting drop and make sure your texture will be sandstone okay and that's our pick hey guys thanks for watching please do subscribe if you like my video please like it comment below if you want me to make any tutorial for you can understand if you can understand comment below and especially if you need adobe photoshop cs6 paid totally free yeah you can comment here cause i uh, and then i'll tell you how to download it and i'll make tutorial for you and see you soon in the next tutorial take care bye bye